Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening people from all around the world. So, adiha at magandang gabi sa mga kababayan ko dyan sa Pilipinas. I am Ella Jason Ali, your host for tonight. Welcome to our Institution of Global Professionals free webinar. I feel so honored and privileged to host this webinar. Thank you for joining us tonight in this marvelous evening, and it's my humble request and pleasure to all of you to stay with us till the end. And oh, don't forget to tag, share, and mention your friends in the comment box below so that we can watch and learn together. Every day, some new participants join with us, so I have to give a little background about IGP. Institute of Global Professionals is an educational institution that provides social work and is globally recognized. We organize our webinars, trainings, offline or online courses with the best and trained speakers, coaches from all around the world to create a best learning platform for you. We expect that we will be able to help you improve both your personal and professional skills. Our mission is to enhance and empower people at their best. And now we have successfully completed 150 webinars. Tonight, we are presenting the 154th webinar entitled Facts and Figures of Ancient Mathematical Techniques with our two brilliant speakers, Dr. Vijay Kumar Vyas and Dr. Manis Krisan Vyas. If you have any questions during the presentation, please keep it first. Our speakers will answer it in our Q&A portion. Now, it's time to start our program. Our first speaker is an assistant professor of mathematics at Sur, Univer uh, Sur University College, Oman. Wow. Okay, so he's from Oman. So his research interest includes special functions, fract uh, fractional calculus, integral transforms, and basic hypergeometric series. He has published many research papers in prestigious journals. In India and abroad, he has presented research papers and given, in, uh, and given invited talks at a number of international and national conferences of faith. He is member advisory board of a fate uh, of Pater Academy of India. Wow. Society of Special Function and their application, Hong Kong Chemical, Biological, and M. He's also a uh, environmental engineering society, part of environmental engineering society, and many other organizations. Wow. So our uh, speaker for tonight is so, you know, very brilliant. Okay, so let us all welcome Dr. Vizay Kumar Vyas from Oman. Thank you, madam. And yes, thanks to organizing today. And I'm audible to you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm uh, happy to give my knowledge to all society and uh, the members which are connected by IGP institution and the, my topic is as you know the title of uh, uh, can you give me two minutes Yeah, yeah. Is everything okay? Uh, yes. The title of talk is text. I see. Okay. Oh. So everyone, 
Uh, we will wait for Dr. Vizay Kumar. I think he has a problem, technical problem in his end. Okay, so um, by the way, while waiting for Dr. Vizay Kumar, again, I'm reminding everyone to please try to share or uh, mention your friends on the comment box below. Okay, try to mention your friends or your co-workers, your co-teachers, so that they will also be able to learn something new for, to, for this evening. Okay, so try to tag your friends. All right. Okay, <laughs> sorry about this. Anyway, we will be also having our next uh, speaker, but uh, we will just try to wait. Maybe he has some problem now. Okay, he will come back as soon as possible. He'll try to come back. Okay. Wait for a moment, guys. He will try to come back. He has maybe an internet problem. Earlier, it was okay. But um, maybe now, when he was trying to present his PowerPoint, he got it. Oh, okay. I think he's here. Dr. Vizai, are you okay? <laughs> Uh -huh. and this happens every time, guys. So let us have uh, more patience. Okay, loading. <laughs> sa mga kababayan ko dyan sa Pilipinas. Hello, hello. Miss ko na dyan sa Pilipinas. Sana makauwi na ako. <laughs> pero, pero hindi pa pwede. So I'm here now in Thailand. Yes, we have an, an uh, he, I think he has an unstable connection right now. Sometimes I have an internet problem too. Oh, what should I do? I cannot discuss mathematics. So our our topic for, to, for tonight is about, you know, mathematics. I'm so bad in mathematics, guys. Yes, mabuhay. Oh, from uwi ka na, ma'am. Hindi po na, di muna po ako makaka-uwi. Okay, Dr. Kumar is here. Sir, are you okay? Yes, yes. Wait, wait. Okay, uh, sure. Say it uh, Is my screen is visible? All right, it's vis visible yeah. now. Yeah, sorry for this uh, It was connectivity problem. So let's I start my presentation. The title is uh, presentation is fact and figures of ancient mathematical techniques. So uh, in this uh, uh, topic, I will discuss about the two mathematical top, uh, techniques. So currently we are having two different ancient mathematical techniques for the school students and college students. This is known as Abacus Maths and Vedic Maths. So in the Abacus Maths, actually it was uh, derived in the Central Asia in early age. It is a device used for the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. In this uh, techniques, we uh, don't need to use the pen and paper, and it's good for any base number system. As you know, in the mathematics, there are few base number system like binary system and decimal system. Actually, abacus word is derived from the Greek word abex. Abex means the table or board covered with the dust. Some historians believe that the abacus was first created in Central Asia. And it is quite popular in Europe, in the eastern part of the world, and in 
China and in neighbor countries. But more uh, in the current times, it's too much popular in the China. The modern China, uh, Chinese Africans appeared in China between 12th to 13th century. Really. Uh, this kind of instrument they are using for the abacus. You can see one frame and uh, with this frame. Here, this cross bar, and these are the column, and this called beads. And this instrument is divided into two parts. The first is called K1, and the other is R in popular language. So the, the kids are counting these beads and doing calculation by themselves. Uh, I just want to clear that I am not going to explain any kind of uh, calculation in Abacus. I just want to say what is the difference between Abacus and Vedic Mathematics. And uh, my, uh, the second speaker will explain how to use the Vedic Mathematics for the basic calculations and uh, complex calculation also. Uh, why we use the Abacus? Abacus we are using because it's very simple to use and you can run by the hand and without using the pen and paper and uh, complex instrument. It's operates for years. Uh, it teaches you how to manipulate the numbers and how each is it related to the other and use knowledge of to the major operation like uh, subtraction, addition and multiplication division also. And you will let you learn all about the base tense system uh, in the Abacus if you read the Abacus. It shows you how to math in decimal system and in binary system. You can solve the problem just as fast or even faster than modern electric computer. Now uh, let's move to the Vedic maths. Vedic maths uh, is known as Indian ancient mathematical techniques. It is amazing system of calculation. It was originally born in Vedic age. Vedic age means the, uh, the previous time when in India the Vedas was introduced. Vedas means the literature was uh, composed. That is called the Vedic age. Originally it was born in Vedic age and it was disappeared during the start of 20th century. It's what we know as Vedic mathematics it, because it was originally uh, created, uh, composed in Vedic age. It is ancient system of Indian mathematics which was rediscovered from the Vedas between 1911 to 1918 by Sri Bharti Krishna According to his research, all of mathematics is based on 16 sutra or word formulas. Sutra means formulas. In India, in uh, ancient language system, we can say sutra, or we can use the word sutras for formulas. A quick fact about the abacus. First, we discuss about the facts about the abacus and then for the Vedic mathematics. The modern abacus we use today can instantly read zero by the pulling horizontal along the center, as I show you the instrument. The Russian abacus is known as Scotty. It is different from the other abacus as it is not divided into dots. China is considered to be the origin place of the abacus as the original written documentation is dated in the second century BC. The Chinese version of abacus is also known as Suan Pan. And another uh, Kramer abacus was invented by the team Kramer. It is used by the blind people to perform calculation easily and quick. Using an abacus is easy and it takes a few mental calculations and your finger to record the result. Effects of the Vedic mathematics. Vedic mathematics is super fast way of calculation. Even you can see this digit you can solve in within a few seconds. It is highly beneficial for school and uh, college students and students who are appearing for their entrance examination. 
Vedic mathematics is far more systematic, simplified, and unified than the conventional system. It is mental tool for the calculation that encourages the development and use of innovation, while giving the student a lot of flexibility, fun, and satisfaction. Here are some examples. However, I just tell you the things. The second speaker will cover the more uh, part of the calculation. But I just give some uh, small uh, example to know what is the Vedic mathematics. Here, for example, you need to multiply by 21 uh, with the 23. How you can use uh, here? This is the uh, normally called the long multiplication, but actually the answer can be written straight down using the vertical and crossverse formula. First, we put the image in 23 below 21. Here you write the 21 and 23. So, first you multiply the vertical word 2 multiply by 2 is 4. The second step you multiply by 2 multiply by 3 is 6 plus 2 multiply 1 is 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. So, the middle term is 8. Then multiply by 3 into 1. The right side works. It's very simple. So, 483. You will see the lot of techniques in the second part of the webinar. Here, just I introduce what is the Vedic mathematics. Here, another example. If you need to calculate 30 to multiply by 38, now here you can see both numbers are start from 3 and the second, the sum of second is it is 10. If you need to multiply this, no need to use calculation calculator because. First word is 3, so 3 here, second 2 and here 8, so 2 multiplied by 8 is 16, write 16, and you, uh, the next digit of 3 is 4, so multiply by 3 into 4 is 12, so 12, 16 is the result output, and you can use these techniques also, however, again I am telling you in the second part of the presentation, you will have the detailed explanation of this kind of calculation. Here also, uh, if the number are close to 100, suppose you want to multiply by 88, by 98, both are close to 100. But how close? 88 is close by the 12, means 88 is just less than 12 of 100 and 98 just less than 2 of 100. So, here, 88 is below 1200 and a 98 is 2 below 100. You can imagine the subset like this. As before 86 come from subtracting, means here uh, you need to do cross subtraction. 88 minus 2 cross subtraction, you can see like this. So it is 86. Here 98 uh, sub, uh, subtract by 12, it's also 86, the same. It is, you can subtract either way, you will uh, just get the same answer. So 86. And now you multiply 12 by 2, 24. So that answer is 86, 24. Benefit of Vedic mathematics. Vedic mathematics is 12 to 15 times faster than normal mathematics. It's better and much improved academic performance in the school and instant results. Sharpen your mind, increase the mental ability and intelligence. A complete system comprises all the benefits of mental health. It increases the visualization and conservation ability. Vedic mathematics cultivates an interest for the numbers and eliminates the math phobia present in the students. Those are having math phobia means some students are saying how we can calculate the composite number. So the Vedic mathematics is for you to improve your skill. Vedic mathematics is easy to understand, easy to apply, and easy to remember. Increase your speed and accuracy. Become a mental calculator yourself. Also improve the memory and boost the self confidence. It reduces the burden of remembering large amount of stuff because it's required you learn table up to nine only. Yes. In Indian mathematical system, the first step to learn mathematics is to learn the tables. And 
you need to learn uh, tables up to nine. Table means seven, nine, 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 nine to the eighteen like that. So, in fact, as a tools for the reducing finger counting and scratch work, it play an important role in increasing concentration as well as improving confidence. This will develop your uh, psychological strength also. It is very simple, direct, and totally unconventional, original, straightforward. It increases the mental calculation. It can introduce creativity in intelligence and smart students will helping the slow learner rest and basic concept of mathematics. Let's uh, discuss about the difference between Abacus Mathematics and Vedic Mathematics. Abacus is an old tool invented during Greek and Roman times. During the times, Abacus has grown into different categories when traveling around the world. However, it is in China, but Abacus was further removed and a lot of use of day to day left hand to calculate. Abacus mess is the technique derived from the very old technique and in according with the modern world. Means the development of Abacus was continued from the very old time to current time. There was no gap uh, of development uh, for the Abacus. Where children use the both hands to move abacus weights to perform arithmetical calculation. Rapid communication between their hands and their brain stimulates both the right and left hemisphere of the brain. Abacus weights should start from very early. This is the restriction we can say for the abacus. It's not a technical issue, but formal restriction means. If uh, you want to learn Abacus a, uh, mathematics in the later days, it is a little bit difficult because we are not interested to play uh, some toys like that. So when uh, kids was very young, like less than four years, they are uh, attracted towards the instrument which look like a toy. That's why it's good for the very young age uh, kids. Abacus mess can be slightly handicapped if we start at later stages. But for the Vedic mathematics, has no legal definition. Uh, what is the Vedic mathematics? Vedic mathematics is not a different kind of mathematics. It's a trick to solve the mathematical problem. According to Hindu philosophy, is based on Veda. Veda means ancient scripts written in Sanskrit, some say as old as thousand uh, before Christ, and mathematics translated from this text in terms as Vedic mathematics. These ancient scriptures were discovered by the party Krishna, the three parties Krishna. In, uh, in our country, generally for the different person, we are studying their name by Sri and we finish their name by Ji. That is but the original name part of Krishna. Uh, during 1884 to 1960. And he translated the complex text into simpler, understandable mathematics. So it's very clear. It was composed in very old age. But it was recreated, rediscovered in 18, uh, in the uh, 1911, as I discussed in early slide. 19, yeah. Vedic mass is done entirely in mind. No instrument, no pen paper, even no need to count it, counting on figure also uh, on the finger also. Vedic mathematics also start from the basic numbers and gradually develop into simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Vedic mathematics goes far beyond the basic calculation. It's not only uh, limited to the addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, and uh, division. It is uh, far from this basic of this. Like you can use the uh, complex geometric theorems. Algebraic problems you can solve by this and all by the 16 formulas. Vedic mathematics can also start in old age without any difficulties. Means if you want to start now, you can start. 
and taking of difference with the device for the biggest which is arrangement of weights in is used in the biggest and mass vedic method does not rely on any device and all calculations are done in mind abacus mass help in learning table and multiplication of the large number as well as division on other hand vedic math goes much beyond the simple arithmetical problem if mastered can help anyone to do complex geometrical and algebraic problem so uh my intention is not to show the vedic mathematics is uh, best uh, great compared to others but uh, i just uh, we just want to explain you the vedic mathematics is a very good tools for the every student those are having maths phobia so the more technology is need the more practice implements in daily life and uh, the practice makes perfect for the every mathematical technique uh, thank you so much Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. My my microphone is muted. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Vijay Kumar. Okay. So thank you so much, Dr. Vijay Kumar, for a, a very informative presentation. So on behalf of the IGP, we are very thank you to uh, for giving your valuable time and sharing your knowledge uh, with us tonight. Before moving to our next speaker, once again, I remind everyone to please support us uh, by sharing and tagging and also mentioning your friends. Okay, so we will be going to give you the e-certificate link in the comment box below and if you will face any problem you can collect your e-certificate direct from our website that is www.eduigp.com okay so thank you so much dr vijay kumar so now we will be going to have our next and last speaker for this evening so he is an associate professor professor of mathematics at BS Institute of Engineering and Technology, India. So his research interest includes applied mathematics. Wow. He has also published many research papers in prestigious journals. He also have uh, pres uh, has presented research papers at a number of international and national conferences of applied mathematics so he is also a life member of fater academy of india so now let us all welcome everyone all the way from india dr manis krishan vs hello sir good evening Good evening, sir. Okay, hello. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm audible? Yes, yes. You're uh, audible. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks to organizing committee uh, to organize uh, such a wonderful international webinar in this pandemic situation. And this uh, webinar is also useful to everyone and uh, 
Welcome, welcome okay. everyone. We can see your screen now, sir. I'm, uh, okay, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. M. K. Vyas. I am from India. And India is the one of the oldest civilization in the world. Is contribute to many things uh, like uh, Vedas, Ayurvedas, and Corona vaccine, and Vedic mathematics. Vedic mathematics. Vedic mathematics is the world fastest mathematics and easiest. So now let us start this topic. What is Vedic mathematics? Vedic mathematics is the name given to the ancient system mathematics, which was rediscovered from the Vedas. It is unique technique of calculation based on simply principle and rules with which any mathematical problem, be it arithmetic, algebra, geometry, or trigonometric, can be solved mentally. Who brought Vedic mathematics to limelight? The ancient system of mathematics was rediscovered from Vedas. What is the basis of Vedic mathematics? Vedic mathematics is now refers to the set of 16 mathematical formulae or sutras and 13 sub sutras or corollary derived from the Vedas. Now the 16 sutras and their corollary are shown in the following table. If any human we are uh, learned all 16 formula then like uh, he become a calculator uh, the following terminology are used in vedic mathematics a uh, base every time you see the word word base it is referring to the 10th base so 10 100 1000 and deficiency deficiency is the base minus number and surplus surplus is the number minus base now we start the first formula. Ek dikhen purven purvena means by one more than the previous one. This sutra is used to the squaring of the number ending in five or multiply the uh, number AB multiply by AC uh, where first digit are same and the sum of the second digit is tens. So now we start the squaring of the number ending in five. If we want to uh, squaring of uh, 85 then in conventional method uh, first of all we multiply 5 by 85 we get 425 and then 8 multiply by 85 we get 680 and then add this method is a very long but in Vedic mathematics is a very easy and we give a answer in one line so first of all we multiply 8 by one more digit that is 9 we get 72 then write 25 now we understand this method in one another example if we want to square of 75 so first of all we want to say 1 multiply by 8 we give 56 and we write uh, 25 now we take one another example if we want to uh, square of 105 one then first we multiply 10 one more digit is 11 we get uh, 110 and then write 5 that is, uh, uh, we give answer in only one line. Now, suppose we want to square of 95, then first we multiply 9 by one more digit 10, we get 90, and then write simply 25. If we want to square of 995, but in, in, uh, in, in general mathematics, this method is very long, but in this method, we get the answer in single line. So first we multiply 99 by one more digit, that is 100. Then multiply 99 by 100, we get 9900. And simply write 25. So the product of 995 and 995 is 9900.25. In this method, we are going to study one typical scenario. When the first digit of two numbers are same and the last digit adds to the tens, hundred and so on. That is the multiply AB cross AC, where B plus C is tens. Uh, now we take uh, example 53 multiply 57. Uh, the first digit of the number is five and the addition of the second digit is three plus seven is 10. So this method is applicable. So first we multiply by five by one more digit six, we get uh, 30 and then we multiply three by seven 
we get uh, 21 very easy and now we let us take one another example if we want to multiply 96 by 94 the first digit of this number is uh, 9 is same and the addition of the last digit 6 plus 4 is 10 so this method is applicable so first of all we multiply 9 by 10 we get uh, 90 and then multiply 6 4 are so 6 4 are 24 very easy that is the product of the 96 and 94 we get only sing only one sing one single line uh, when the two digit number end with the same digit and that sum of the first is 10 that is the reciprocal of the previous method so um, now let us take uh, one example to understand this method if we want to multiply 24 by 84 uh, the first digit is uh, the sum of the first digit is 10 and the second digit is 4 so first we multiply 2 8 2, eight, two eights are 16 and uh, addition of the same digit 4 so we get 20 and then product of 4 by 4 the 4 into 4 is the 16 now one uh, take a one another example if you want to multiply by 69 into 49 the addition of the first digit is 10 and the second digit is same that is 9 so first we multiply 9 nines are uh, 9 nines are 81 and 6 fours are 24 plus 9 33 now uh, we will uh, start the second formula ek nunin purvena means by one less than the previous one this sutra is used to the multiply by 9 99 999 etc in this method we discuss the three type of case first case the both digits are same and the second case first digit is the less than the second digit and the third case is the first number is the less than the digit of the first number is it is less than the and uh, is the greater than the second digit now we start case first if the both digit are same now let us take one example to understand this method if you want to multiply 24 by 99 now uh, very easy uh, first of all we subtract 24 minus 1 we get uh, 23 and then uh, we uh, and then we subtract 9 minus 2 we get uh, 7 and second 9 minus 3 we get 6 so the product of the 24 into 99 is 2376 now let us take one another example if you want to multiply 246 and 999 and then uh, first of all we subtract 246 minus 1 we get uh, 245 and then subtract 9 minus uh, first is it 2 and 9 minus second is it 4 and 9 minus last is it 5 we get 754 so the product of the 246 and 999 we get uh, 245 754 that's very easy if we want to multiply 24653 two, and 5 times of 99 is very difficult in the conventional method but in Vedic mathematics so easy so first we subtract 24653 minus 1 we get 24652 very easy and on simple simple subtract 9 minus 2 we get uh, 7 and this 9 minus this 4 we get 5 and this 9 minus 6 we get 3 and 9 minus 5 we get uh, 4 and 9 minus 2 we get 7 so the product of 24653 is uh, 24563 into 999 is uh, uh, we get uh, in a single line now the way uh, we start the case second if we want to multiply 43999 that is the first digit are, are less than the second digit in first digit is two digit and in the in there three digit of nine so the product is uh, 43 into 999 uh, first is same if uh, first we subtract 43 minus 1 we get 42 uh, here only two digit so we used only two nines uh, so first we 9 minus 4 2 and 9 minus 2 we get 7 and this 9 is extra so we write as it is so the product of the 43 into triple 9 is 42957 if we want to the multiply 2 3 5 6 and 7 times of 9 very large, very big so in Vedic mathematics First of all, we subtract uh, 2356 minus 1, we get 23555. Five. Here, four digits, so we used only four nines. So, first, we this 9 minus 2, 
we get uh, 7 and this 9 minus 3 we get 6 and this 9 minus 5 we get 4 and this 9 minus 4 is uh, we get 4 and 3 9 is extra so we write as it is so the product of this big number is 2 3 5 5 9 9 9 7 6 4 4 now in case third uh, first digit is more than the second digit now let us take an example to understand this method if you want to multiply 453 by 99 here 453 is the three digit and 99 is two digit so first uh, first of all we uh, subtract 453 minus 1 452 and both nine is right as it is and then subtract 452 we get the product of this number so very easy and now with now we start the magic number 11 11 is a very magic number at the multiply by 11 111 111 and so on in the conventional method if you want to multiply 53 to 11 in so first of all we multiply 1 by 53 and 1 by 53 and add but in vedic mathematics very easy uh, you write 5 as it is and 3 as it is and add both number that is 5 plus 3 is 8 so the pro so the product of 53 into 11 is 583 in the second method uh, if we want to uh, any any number a b a b a b a b want to multiply 11 one 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 in this method uh, if if we want to 11 that is two digit so a b is sandwiched with twice of zero if you want to triple one then a b is sandwiched with twice of zero if we want to multiply uh, one 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 that is four digit of one so a b is sandwiched with three three number of zero three digit of zero now let us take an example 53 multiply by 11 so either here uh, two digit of one so 53 is sandwiched with twice of zero and here two digit so we add twice digits uh, 3 plus 0 5 plus 3 and 0 plus 3 we get 53 now let us take one another example if you want to 63 multiply by 1 1 1 here three digit of one so 63 is the sandwich with twice zero and here three digit so we add three digit 6 3 uh, 3 0 0 then 630 and 063 and 006. So we get if uh, if we add a 300, then we get 3 and 630, we get 9 and 063, we get 9 and 006, we get 6. So the product of 63 and 11 is 0 and 699. Uh, now, squaring of the 111111 in here, twice digit of 1, so we write 1. 2 and then reverse order 1 if want to square of triple 1 then here 3 digit of 1 so we write 1 2 3 and then write reverse order 2 1 if you want to the square of uh, 4 digit of 1 so we write 1 2 3 4 and then write reverse order 3 2 1 very easy if you want to the square of the 5 digit of 1 so we write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then write uh, reverse order 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on. In, the, uh, uh, in this method, a very interesting question. If you want to the square root of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, here uh, continuous number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is, we write. We can write uh, in a six digit of one of a square. So the square root of this number is one 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 one. We get only single line. Now we will start the next uh, formula. Nikhilam Nafasaram Satam means all from nine and the last from ten. This formula can be very effectively applied in multiplication of number which are near to base like tens. 100,000, etc. In this method, we discuss three cases. When the both number are lower than the base. In this, uh, in, in this case, uh, we product of the uh, two digit in we following two step. Step first, write the numbers and their defects. What is defect? Defects is the 
बेस माइनस नंबर डिफरेंस बिटवीन बेस माइनस नंबर एंड इन द सेकेंड स्टेप एंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द बोथ डिजिट इन टू पार्ट इन राइट पार्ट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द बोथ डिफेक्ट एंड द लेफ्ट पार्ट क्रॉस सब्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द आदर नंबर एंड द अदर डिफेक्ट now let us take a one uh, example to understand this method if we want to the multiply 97 and 94 in conventional method first of all we multiply 4 by 97 we get 388 and 9 by 97 we get 870 873 and then add both this it we get 8118 but in vedic mathematics a 97 is near base is 100 so the difference between base and 97 is we get the defects of 97 is 3 and the second digit 94 is also base is 100 so defects of the 94 is uh, 6 so right part is six, uh, simply we get uh, multiply both defects uh, both defects 6 3 is 18 very simple and the and the left part we subtract 97 minus 6 97 minus 6 we get 91 or 94 minus 3 we get 91 91 left part so the product of the 97 and 94 is 9118 and 9118 in very easy process now let us one another take example 98 and 96 the base is both are 100 so defects of 98 and 96 is 2 and 4 if we, uh, then the right part is right part is 2 fours are 18 but here base is the two twice of digit so the right part is also two digit so we put uh, zero the so next is zero in the left part we subtract 98 minus 4 we get 94 and 96 minus 2 we get uh, 94 so the product of the 98 and 96 is 9408 now let us take one another example if we want to multiply 998 and 997 base is 1000 so the defects of 998 and 997 is 2 and 3 here base is the 3 try 0 so the right part is also three digit so the if we multiply 2 and 2 threes are 6 so uh, necessary to put this 0 and the left part 998 minus 3 and 997 minus 2 we get 995 so the product of the 998 and 997 is 995006 in the case second when the both number are higher than the base uh, now let us take one an example if you want to multiply 103 multiply by 105 uh, so so first of all we multiply 5 by 103 we get 515 and 0 by 103 and we get 000 and 1 by 103 and all number adding this number we get 1081 by very boring method but in vedic mathematics very easy uh, base of both number is 100 so the defects of 103 and 105 is Uh, but uh, difference between base minus number minus three minus five. So right part here base is zero uh, double zero so two digit. So multiply by minus three minus five so minus minus plus then the multiply of the three fives are fifteen. And the left part we uh, subtract one zero three minus minus five so one zero three minus minus plus and one zero five minus minus three so so we get one zero eight. so the product of the 103 and 105 is 10815 in the case third when the number is more than the other is less than the base so right uh, is the formula is slightly change formula is slightly change uh, the right part is base plus product of both defects in previous only product of both defects but in this case and the addition of the product of both defects is and base plus production of both defects in the left part cross subtraction of either number and other defects and minus 1 notice this now take a uh, one an example if we want to multiply 103 by 98 first we multiply 8 by 103 we get 824 and then multiply 9 by 103 we get 927 and add both number we get 9004 but in vedic mathematics base both number base is 100 so the difference between base minus uh, 103 we get minus 3 and base 100 minus 98 we get 2 so 
So defects of 103 and 98 is minus 3 and 2. So right bar, right bar is base plus product of defects. So the product of defects is minus 3 to the 6. So 100 minus 6 is 94. And the left part, we subtract uh, uh, 90, 103 minus 2 minus 1 or 98 minus 3 minus uh, minus minus 3 and minus 1. So we get 100. So the product of 103 and 98 is 10094. Now let us start uh, one another formula. Swapna Tayadayam Manteyam. This formula, uh, this means the ultimate and the twice the penalty made. This formula can be very effectively applied in specific algebraic equation. If A, B and C and D in arithmetic progression, arithmetic progression that is difference between A, B and B, C and C, D are same, then this series is called arithmetic progression. Then the solution of this type of equation is B plus uh, D plus 2C. D is the called ultimate and C is the called penultimate. So, um, simply in one met, uh, one line, solution of one line. Uh, now, let us take uh, one example. If we solve the this type of algebraic equation, 1 upon 2x plus 1, 3x plus 2, plus 1 upon 2x plus 1, 4x plus 3, 1 upon 2x plus 1, 5x plus 4, and 3x plus 2, 4x plus 3. Here a equals to 2x plus 1, b equals to 3x plus 2, and c equals to 4x plus 3, and d equals to 5x plus 4. If we subtract b to a, so we get x plus 1. If we subtract c to b, we get also x plus 1. If we subtract d to c, also x plus 1, that is a, b, c, and d, all are in arithmetic progression. So this method is applicable. The, this method, is, uh, what is method? The uh, pen, uh, ultimate plus twice of penultimate. So penultimate is D, that is 5x plus 4. And uh, twice of the penultimate, C is, uh, C is 4x plus 3. So 5x plus 4, twice of the 4x plus 3. If we multiply 2 by 4x plus 3, first of all, and solve. So we get 13x plus 10, then x equals to minus 10 by 13. Hmm. At that time, uh, we remember one beautiful line. Mathematics is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Thanks, everybody, to patiently listen to my lecture. Thank wow, you. Wow, thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Dr. Manis. Okay, wow, that is such an informative presentation so i bet everyone has learned something about the cool tricks and methods in computing numbers well honestly i told you earlier i am very terrible in numbers especially uh, in numbers like mathematics so i got no speed if you, if you learn <laughs> anyway, mathematics then why not very from this <laughs> anyway sir thank you so much on behalf of igp thank you, thank you ma yes thank you yeah. for giving us your valuable time and sharing your knowledge with uh, with us tonight thank you so much mm -hmm. sir okay Thanks, so to our two speakers mm -hmm. to our two speakers mm -hmm. dr vizai and dr manish thank you for sharing your knowledge and expertise to our lovely audience so please stand by because we will mm -hmm. be going to have our q a portions later after our okay. quiz competition all right Okay. okay, thank you so much, sir. Okay, so this time, everyone will be going to have our Q&A.
Well, I, I hope I hope everyone here will be going to join our quiz competition right now. So just uh, try to go to slido.com and then uh, our code is IGP quiz. Okay, so the link is also on the, on the comment box below. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, everyone. If you want to join our quiz competition, please go to slider.com and enter the code IGP quiz. Okay, you can also see the link in our comment box below. Okay, so as of now, we have 67 participants. Okay, everyone, please join the competition right now. Okay. Oh, we already have 91. So we will start. We will start after we have um, enough participants for our quiz. Okay, for those for those audience that are good in math, well, everyone is welcome here to join our competition. Okay. So we will we're about to start now. Come on, guys. We only have 107 participants here. Okay, so are you ready? So the 10 winner uh, winners will be going to have their e-certificate, the top 10. So do your best. 119, 120. All right, keep going. Okay, so go to slider.com and just enter the code IGP quiz. Okay. We will start in less than a minute. 130. Okay, we'll start now. First, the first question is, the number system was built in ancient India. The number system was built in ancient India. Is this true or false? All right, 81% answered true. Let's see the correct answer. Okay, very good. The answer is true. Next question. Where was mathematics first developed? Where was mathematics first developed? Is it in Indus Valley? Ancient Greece, Mayas, or ancient Mesopotamia? Let's see the correct answer. Okay, so it is in ancient Mesopotamia. Only 21% got the correct answer. Okay, the third question is, which is not a civilization of the ancient world? Which is not a civilization of the ancient world? Is it ancient Egypt, Indus Valley, or ancient Argentina? Let's see the correct answer. All right, yes. Answer is ancient Argentina. The fourth question is, in mathematics, a, fr a fraction represents blank. In mathematics, a fraction represents blank. Is it parts of a whole or an entire object? 
Is it parts of a whole or an entire object? All right, yes, it's part of a whole. Okay, the fifth question. Which mathematical method of sales forecasting can extend an upward or downward trend? Is it capacity-based or regression? These are familiar to me. <laughs> Let's see the correct answer. All right. The correct answer is regression. This, the sixth question is, man-made or mathematical shapes like squares, circles, and triangles are example of which kind of shapes? Is it geometric? imaginary or organic is it geometric imaginary or organic let's see the correct answer wow 99 percent answered geometric and that is the correct answer all right way to go seven the seventh question the mathematical name for the shape of a fringle is hyperbolic para paraboloid. Is it true or false? Let's see. Okay. The correct answer is true okay wow the eighth question is techniques of calculus and linear algebra to study problems in geometry is it discrete geometry differential geometry or algebraic geometry Okay, let's see the correct answer. Okay, the answer is differential geometry. The ninth question. Mathematical equation, equations used in solving well-structured problems. Is it design method? Is it problem solving or algorithms? Let's see the correct answer. Okay, the answer is algorithms. Okay, the last question. An array is defined as a number of mathematical elements arranged in rows and columns, arranged in rows only, or arranged, uh, arranged in columns only. Arrange in rows only or arrange in columns only. Okay. See? Okay, the answer is, the correct answer is arranged in rows and columns. Okay, so let's see. Wow. Congratulations for the top five here. So congratulations, Maria Faye R. Blas. You are the top one. Wow. 10 out of 10. Wow. I think you are a major in mathematics, Mom Maria. Mom Maria Faye. Okay, so uh, let me read the other uh, winners. So the top two is Joel C. Junio. The top three is Miss Kathleen Wendy O. Sabot. The top four is Marvel O'Core. And the top five is April C. Lim. Well, congratulations for the top five. All right. Okay, so 
Uh, for the top five and also for the top 10, you will be going to have your certificate. Wow, for winning this competition. All right. Okay. Uh, let me have... Okay, let me read. Let me read the top 10 winners. Okay, so let me repeat. Our rank one or top one is Miss Maria Faye Arblas. She got a perfect score, 10 points. Our top two is Joel C. Junio. Wow, nine points. Kathleen Wendy O. Sabud also got nine points. The top four is Maribel Oko. Yeah, she got nine points out of ten. Number uh, top five is April C. Lim. So she got she got nine points also. Top six. Oh, sir, I cannot see. I cannot read the names of the other. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. So top six is Miss Anna Marie J. Caramto. Top seven is Hionet. Hionet P. Jonet or Hionet P. Barceliano. The top eight is uh, Cheryl M. Fornales. Our top nine is Corazon Quintana. And our top 10 is Rhea May P. Buca. Congratulations, everyone. Okay, so you will be going to have your certificate for winning this competition okay so now we'll be going to proceed to our q a so if you had your questions earlier now it's time to ask the speakers okay so oh <laughs> yes yes so uh, we will be going to all right all right sir okay so we will wait for uh we will wait for our speakers. Okay, so I think. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So um, we will be going to wait. Wait for a moment, everyone. We are going to contact them. Maybe they have um, they have an internet problem or yeah technical problem in uh, under end so we will try to uh, contact them okay we will try to contact them so it's regarding with our q a we're not yet finished okay so dr vijay is here already okay how about dr manish <laughs> maybe they have a problem because earlier right when Dr. Vijay was about to start, um, uh, he got disconnected. So we will wait for them, guys. So just, uh, right now, while waiting for them, uh, think of a question. Think of questions or question that we'd like to ask them. Okay. Yes. All right. Welcome back, Dr. Vijay and Dr. Manish. So are you ready for our Q&A portion? So we'll be going to have questions from our audience. Okay. So for our audience, don't forget to address. Okay. Here, here. Here we, we have a question already. So the question is from Mr. Arvinino Virai. 
So to Dr. Manish, how about the square of one, 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 one. <laughs> how, uh, how much so, is one? Is this a million? It's 10 times one. 10 times one. 10 times, 10 times. 10 times one, then we write uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then write reverse order. Uh, 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 we write uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then we write reverse order. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the square of this 10 times over. All right. Oh, before that, please open your cameras, Dr. Vijay and Dr. Manish. Please open your cameras. We cannot see you right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Manish. Uh, Dr. Vijay, mm. kindly open your cameras yeah. so uh, camera so that the audience will see you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Manish, for answering that question. Now let's move on to our next question here from Miss Sonia. To Dr. Manish again, sir, please repeat 98 by 96. 98 multiplied by 96. Oh, yes, yes. 98 yeah, multiplied yeah. Ah, so by he, 96. So here, for, uh, so here, first digit is same, uh, that is 9. And but uh, uh, last digit, uh, no, not addition of 10. So uh, this Vedic method is not applicable in this number. Uh, okay. So some of, some of another done. formula is also in Vedic mathematics, uh, but Vedic mathematics is a very large uh, area. Uh, if we learn all formula, then we multiply this type of number. Okay. I, I hope you understand now, Miss Sonia. <laughs> Next one is from Miss Manalita Ramas Oligo. For Dr. Manish, what are the ways do you think ancient India changed the world with math? Pardon me? What are the ways do you think ancient India changed the world with math? May, oh, may I give the answer? Dr. Vijay wants to answer. Okay. Yeah, actually, uh, I have two types of experience, first in India and second in Oman. Uh, when I moved to Oman and I started to teach them uh, in uh, mathematics, I got some difference. So what is the difference, basically? Uh, when I, I'm, I'm giving any example to solve them, they are using calculator. But Indian students are not. Because the early is we are giving exercise to learn the tables and like that. So uh, the Indian students are not depends on the instrument, but in the current times, they are using the instrument and if they adopt the, uh, this uh, uh, techniques, Vedic mathematics, it is time saving, it is uh, mind improving techniques. And if the society adopt these techniques, they are adopting now. The scenario will be completely changed. The human mind will be become a computer. Uh, sorry to interpret because it was uh, in my part. All right. I, I think you got the answer there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Vichai. Now, to our next question. Do we still have? Okay. Another question from Mr. Antonio Lasana to both speakers. If the learner used this method, is it considered valid rather than use the convention method prescribed by textbooks in junior or senior high school? Yeah, this is a very good question. Actually, uh, as uh, Dr. Mani said, there are 16 formula, right? If you are having the knowledge of 16 formula, I'm 100% sure your answer will be 100% pure and 100% perfect for all calculations. In this topic, we covered only three formula. 
if we uh, the time will allow we will uh, give more information and definitely if you are confident you know every formula then i am sure this is better than a textbook uh, uh, for the conventional mathematics all right thank you so much dr vijay let's move on to our next question so uh, oh this one doesn't have a name <laughs> from facebook user good evening dr manish can you suggest a strategy to be used in mathematics subject for this new normal class so since we have pandemic now we have online so asking about strategies see definitely uh, i think uh, may i give the answer Yeah, in new normal mathematics, uh, new normal times, uh, we are totally depends on the online learning. Uh, so definitely, it's uh, uh, for uh, uh, Vedic mathematics. We need a proper training trainers. So there is no more advantage for the new normal. I, I it's my opinion. So I cannot say this is the advantage to learn the Vedic mathematics. We need the teacher. Those can guide in every step. It's not related to new normal. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Vijay. Let's go to, uh, oh, from Miss Manolita Ramas Oligo again for Dr. Vijay. How much if modern math is based on ancient Greek mathematicians? 100% based on ancient Greek mathematics. 100%. Even, even the research are saying the earlier time the mathematician was more developed than current time and even it is my experience also when we are uh, learning in the school and college we are more efficient compared to other students so i am 100 percent sure the whole modern mathematics is based on ancient great mathematicians uh, and whatever research are going now that is rediscovered re-research re-research is research so I'm hundred percent sure it's a hundred percent based on ancient Greek mathematics. Okay, so a hundred percent. Thank you so much, Dr. Vijay. Let's move on to our next question from Mr. Rian Jun Kuali. To both speakers, how can we teach Vedic mathematics to younger learners? What are the principle in teaching these concepts? Very good question. Uh, as uh, I covered in my presentation, that uh, Abacus is for the primary students, like for the less than four years. But Vedic mathematics is for the all. Uh, generally, uh, when we are arranging the ones of for the Vedic mathematics, we are having a one month session in step by step. First, we are explaining the first formula and giving the examples and. Uh, practice will make the perfect it is the mathematics rule. so step by step they learn 16 uh, I, even i am telling you uh, no one will cover the 16 formula it's still on discover phase so uh, it is very easy if we can uh, organize the workshop and even uh, if you will uh, organize any workshop dr manish and i will be helpful for you Okay, thank you so much. Next question. So this is from uh, Miss Manolita Ramos Olig again. <laughs> either if either of the two speakers. So if modern mathematics was brought back and sought to scholars of ancient times, what would the present look like? Yeah, it's a very good question. Actually, uh, you can divide mathematics in two parts. First, pure mathematics, second, applied mathematics. So, even uh, I'm a researcher of the pure mathematics. But my opinion is that, opinion that, that we have uh, much uh, literature available for the pure mathematics. Now, it's time to use the discovered formulas, already discovered formula and theorem to develop the uh, new things, means to apply that formula in the aeronautics engineering, in the machine learning, in the 
or modern uh, education system means it's time to use that formula in our routine life in our uh, new uh, research, uh, technologies only we don't need to do more research on the uh, uh, to find the theorems and concept it's already okay now present time is needed uh, present time is that we need to use that concept to find the new technologies to develop the new technologies Thank you. Next one is from Esther Lita, Miss Esther Lita Cristobal to Dr. Manish. Can we have a copy of these formulas and techniques? I am interested to have one. Oh, <laughs> so you can send it to our uh, send it to our director, and um, they will be going to uh, share it to you. Uh, to to miss Esther Lita. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, if you send your email ID, then I'm also I'm, definitely I send this all formula. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Next one is from Miss Chan Sanzida Tasikin. Your speakers, can you suggest any book? about the ancient mathematical techniques which is very easy to understand so there are a lot of literature is already available and uh, one of the uh, the most uh, the most techniques are available in the in local language for the english you will find and i will share in the book because the most of are in local language Definitely, there are there are, there are English language also, but we will see. Yes. Thank you. Um, from, uh, this is from uh, Miss Gliza. To both speakers, what can you suggest uh, about the best motivation on online class for this topic in math? What can you suggest the best motivation of the online class? Yes, best motivation. In, uh, actually, uh, this our presentation was uh, uh, to motivate the students. Those are having mass phobia. There are a lot of literatures and presentations are available in the same topic. So, it was our aim. So. Uh, uh, actually, I'm not able to understand what she want to ask exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about you, doctor? Oh, okay, okay. We have another question already. So this is from Miss Rachel Molanida Cardenas. To both speakers, what are the ancient advances in mathematics that applicable in our current situation? How to apply those yes. advances? See. Uh, if I say uh, there is a uh, astro astro uh, astro science, I think you are in the college. In your college, there are courses related to aeronautics and like uh, astrology, astro astro science, and like that. In all science, we need the complex calculation, and it complex calculation will be more easy if you use the ancient techniques. It time saving. Even now, the uh, China developed some software uh, by the using of abacus and uh, ancient techniques. Even I have attended in the uh, 2015 in China, there was workshop, they introduced one instrument which is totally based on abacus. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Vijay. And I think those are all the questions. So to our lovely, uh, to our brilliant speakers, to brilliant speakers uh, for today. Oh, I thought it's done. <laughs> oh, there is another question, additional question. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. So this is from uh, doc, um, Sir Antonio Lazona, the Dr. B.S. Why some formula exists? Yes, all of them. <laughs> Why are some form a formula exists the result exists the result? But we transform to another form, the result will not no, exist. 
actually today's uh, discussion was about some formula so that's why we transferred that formula and we uh, explained we can use we can solve by these things we are not saying the other things others uh, techniques are wrong but today what uh, topic we choose to explain we have to, we need to transform that form uh, that question in that type of techniques okay thank you so much so i think that is the last question okay nothing is popping now <laughs> so to dr vs and to dr manish thank you thank you uh sirs for answering the questions of our dear listeners and also for sharing your knowledge and expertise to us so i bet everyone has learned many things from you so we love to have you here again in the near future thank you so much thank you so much sirs okay thank you so, yes thank you Thanks. good night all right so now let's proceed to the uh, certification process okay, so mm -hmm. so let us try to have the step-by-step -step ways on how can you get your certificates so for now uh, this today is july uh no august august 18. so please try to look for the date okay and then you can uh Oh, wait, wait, guys. Okay, so for the certificate code, must apply to this date, right? So today is uh, August 18. Yeah, August 18, 2021. So uh, the videos will be available. Okay, so which will be available in on video session certification part. So without any certificate, guys, or code, yeah, the certificate code, you will not be able to get your certificates okay so video will be available always on our facebook page on our website on or in our youtube channel so who, so who wants to learn anyone can join us on live sessions or later or recorded sessions so we don't have any restrictions for learning so our only focus is learning anything you want and learning is a must so according to BB King, the beautiful the beautiful thing about learning is nobody can take it away from you. Okay, so we have here announcement. So coming soon, for the first time, IGP will launch a virtual award ceremony program. Hey, okay. for the first time, huh? And then we will be going to publish our Android apps within a few days. Wow. You can do everything from that app also. Well, I'll try to have this application. Very soon we will launch uh, we will launch quiz competition tab on our website with certificates for all. So anyone can join at anytime okay so next another announcement so from august 7 you will get class material in every webinar description box on our website so you can also see the youtube link the youtube program link over there can, and also you can have our webinar material. So are you interested in a one year international diploma program certific that certificate for free? Are you interested guys? This is just free. okay so happy announcement so this is an offer from igp on the occasion of the anniversary of igp 
This is for our all participants, for everyone. For an international for an international diploma certificate, every government has some results. Like you have to must learn 250 hours. So that's why we decided to collect our certificates from you, which can ensure that you are capable of international diploma certificate. We know that our all programs are now three hours, but for judgment, we will calculate our program on air on average two hours. Average two hours. That is 130 certificates. You have to submit. Okay, so that is 260 hours. If you have 130 certificates, that means you have 260 hours. So you are also applicable for IGP International Diploma Certificates. Okay, so all the certificate links are now available on our Facebook pin post or top post. Okay, so if you're going to visit IGP, you can see the link there. So what are you going to do? Or what should you do? You are just going to collect all the certificates from our website from 15th of August 2020 to 10th of August 2021 or until now. Okay, submit all the certificates into given link with your full name, profession, designation, and also your country. So the last submission will be, oh, that will be two days from now, August 20, 2021. So now try to collect your certificates and submit it to our institution. Okay, you only have two days. All right, so you can screenshot this one, guys. These are the submission links. Okay, so if you're using your phone right now or your computer, please uh, please screenshot. Okay, so you can have the copy. We have the barcode here already. All right, so we already received 38,000. Wow. Uh, 38,000 plus messages in last eight days. Wow, many. So we started, we started uh, replying everyone from August 16. So they got a lot of messages just in eight days, within eight days. That's a lot. All right, to make IGP anniversary remarkable, we need your support, of course. So to build a powerful IGP learning community, please Please, please invite your invite all of your friends in this page and group so that we can serve more and more people with free education. Please, everyone, for those who work here, if your friends are not yet uh, not yet acquainted with IGP, IGP, please try to invite them. Okay, so in our Facebook page now we have fifty five thousand followers and our target will be 100,000 followers so we're more than half now so please also invite them to our facebook group now we have 34,000 members and our target is 100,000 members so keep inviting your friends your co-workers everyone so are you looking for an opportunity to work with IGP internationally? Are you interested? So if you feel confident to work with IGP as International Organizing Committee board member, you are all welcome. Okay, so you're all welcome, guys, to be part of the committee board member to our committee. So, so coming soon. 
So this is the Institute of Global Professionals. So this is our WhatsApp business account. Okay, you can message them. So a complete guideline. Let us take a look at the complete guideline. So you just have to visit www.eduigp.com and how to use our website perfectly. This is the guideline. What are you going to do? Either you sign in or sign up. So even if you don't have yet an account, sign up. Okay. If you are new, create your account. If you have an account, then log in directly. It's very easy. After that, find a seminar title and get enrolled. Okay, so type type one. This is from any any one program. Okay, you can see this. Next. All right, type two. This is from our homepage sign in. You can see this. It's so easy. So let us take a look on the enrollment process for the new, for the new people here in our institution, the IGP. Okay. Okay, so this is the enrollment process. So this one is the type one. It's from our excuse me. From our home page. So you can see the you can see there our webinars. So just click that. Our webinars. Okay. And then in our type two which is from our uh, homepage of free webinars also. You see there, you can see all free webinars and uh, our free courses that are coming soon. You can see there in our page. For our type three, from, or, from homepage, all upcoming and previous free international webinar. Okay, you, just, you can see this. And below, you can see the uh, webinars, different webinars. For our type 4, from homepage, check our webinars. You see this. All right. For the type five, so there will be a given link. Okay, so certification link is now available in comment box and pin comment. Certification link will be available always in this program post. It, either in our Facebook page, Facebook group, or on YouTube on the description below. Right. Okay, let's move on to our free courses. Okay, so here you can see our free courses. Just look at this. You will see there on our website. Like that. All right, now to our international awards, international awards. You can see there on this, you just have to click this one. Okay, very easy, right? Okay, for our free quiz, free quiz. Okay, so let's take a look on the enrollment process. So this is coming soon. 
Okay, for the trainer's profile, who will be the speakers, I guess. So you can look at there, just click the trainer's profile at the top, at the top right corner of your screen. Just click there, you will be able to see the profile of our trainers. Okay, become a patron. If you want to support us, you can click support us. Okay, so I hope everyone will try to support us or try to support our institution or our organization. Okay. Just click there. So if you want to join our IGP community. Okay, so we all have this ways, many ways. Okay, you can uh, you can join us through Facebook or WhatsApp or through uh, this one email. You just have to click there, guys. <laughs> so in our IGP community clients, see? OK. So our IGP community clients, so we have a lot. This, you can see this in our homepage footer down below. We have many. So globally accredited country. Okay. So of course, IGP is internationally recognized, globally accredited. Okay, so you can see this in our homepage footer. So who are our IGP global partners? We have many, we have the MOU global partners can also uh, see them see the, our global partners in our home page footer if you want to check so how can you contact us okay so if you have anything to ask so Please try to contact us. You are uh, feel free to contact uh, to contact our uh, committee. Okay, they are very willing to answer any question that you may have. Okay, you can also see that in our homepage footer. Okay, so now let's try to proceed in our certification process. Okay, so for our step one, so you have to find the date, okay, and as well as the program name for today. So today is August 18, and today's program uh, is Facts and Figures of Ancient Mathematical Techniques. So you have to look at this information, okay? All right, so step two. So there is a certification link. So the certification link is now available in our comment box and pinned comment. So our, com our committee members are very active there in our comment box, okay? So certification link will be available always in this program post it could be in our facebook right now facebook group or a uh, youtube 
You can check our comment box. So you can claim your certificate in two ways. So you may have the direct link from the comment box. You can look at there, guys. There are pinned comments in the comment box. Or when you, if you are using the YouTube, you can check the description, post description. If you're not able to click this link, please directly browse www.eduigp.com for all information together. So find today's program, then the process are the same. Okay, I can see many comments that on there. They say they cannot access the, the certificate. All right, for the step three. So you have to just browse www.eduigp.com or the link, just click the given link in our comment box or in our post description in, on YouTube. So you can see there. Okay, so you if you are successful to uh, browse our page or website, you'll be, able, you'll be able to see this one. Okay. All right. So it's just very easy, guys. I know... Most of you here already. Uh, most of you here already familiar. Okay, if you are new, again, you can create your account. So if you have an account, then log in directly. After that, find the seminar title and get enrolled. Okay. So easy, guys. So easy. Okay. Step four. Now, the most important part. So step four. Everyone, get ready. Please. Screenshot this or take note of the code. Okay, screenshot or take note of the code. So you won't forget because if you do not have a code, you are not able to get your certificates. Okay, so screenshot it now. Screenshot the screenshot your screen right now, guys. Okay. So the code is IGP7788. IGP7788. Screenshot or take note of the code. Okay, so after you have gotten your code, you just have to put the code here. Okay, you can see the you can see this one your certificate code and then after that just click get your certificate okay so our free international webinar certificate is auto downloadable in pdf file so check your device file manager sometimes it looks uncompleted which is for your mobile screen size so in PDF file, everything is okay. If nothing is found in your file manager, please check your browser setting or update your browser or try with another browser or try it from a laptop or desktop. Okay, so for me, it really works when I'm using my laptop. It, it is auto-downloadable. Okay, so now your certificate is ready. Okay, so you can see your names. All right, and also the verified certificate. See that, see there, down below. All right. Okay, so you can join our all live programs from Facebook page. 
Facebook group, YouTube channel, in, and also on our website. So if anyone missed any program due to some unavoidable issues, still you can attend previous webinar with verified certificates. Okay, so dear participants, if any problem raised to claim your certificate or any other issues, please don't hesitate to contact us. If now our website isn't working well, everyone don't panic. It's some issue of uh, traffic cause of the, uh, due to the maximum users. So with code, you can claim your certificates anytime. So right now, I can see a lot of people uh, saying that the, something is wrong with the link to get their certificate. Guys, maybe uh, since a lot of, lot of you are using the website now, that's why maybe uh, we have the traffic issues. Okay, so don't worry. You can get your certificate tomorrow or any time okay so our core team members are always ready in comment section to support you to find solutions so our team customer service representatives are always ready okay so on facebook page we have miss janet cablau and also miss charis abejo cabiros and on youtube channel we have Mr. Kelvin, Sir Kelvin Linato, Sir Joel Danoog, and Sir Jeffrey Sayag. In our FB group, we have um, CSR, Miss uh, Cherylin Yamaguchi, Miss uh, oh, Sir Jonas Malingin, and uh, Sir Alonso Warren Cariaga. Okay, so they are ready to help you guys if you have any more if you have any problems okay they're ready to talk to you or to reply to you okay so our core team members are always ready to comment or to reply to you in the comment section to find any solutions to your problems so these are the people okay these are the people on our facebook page our wow beautiful ladies mr reese and miss janet from our fb group miss charlene yamaguchi and our gentlemen here mr jonas and mr alonso warren you can contact them guys they are ready to support you from our YouTube channel, we have Mr. Calvin Linatok, Mr. Joel Denog, and Mr. Jeffrey Sayak. They're always ready. So feel free. If you have any more if you have any questions or you know some problems, they're ready to support you. All right, so now let's move on to uh announce let me announce to you our next webinars so tomorrow august 19 our topic will be community engagement and empowerment so our speakers are all the way from vietnam from india and also from nigeria that will be tomorrow evening session okay on august 20 on august 20 we have uh, we have a topic about concepts and components of quantitative research so our speakers are all the way from 
Philippines. Next, on August 21, we will be having webinar that will be about achieving success through innovation. Our speakers will be from different countries. We have all the way from UAE. We have from South Africa and from Croatia. On August 22, our topic will be communications and leadership. Communication and leadership in the workplace. Our speakers will be from Philippines. Okay, on August 23rd, our, uh, our webinar will be about leadership in education. Our speakers will be from different countries, from South Africa, Switzerland, and Croatia. Okay. On August 24th, our topic will be Interve intervention strategies for distance learning. Our speakers will be from Philippines. On August 25, our topic will be social, emotional, teaching, and learning management. Our speakers will be from Greece, India, and Georgia. On August 26th, our topic will be self-empowerment for young professionals. Our speakers will be from Philippines. On August 27th, our topic will be Thriving for Success. We have four speakers from different countries. We have from South Africa, India, Nigeria, and Singapore. Okay. And wow, on August 28th, our topic will be Significant and Dynamic Trends in Education. So our speakers are all the way from Thailand. They are my professors. On August 29, our topic will be principles of leading change. Our speakers will be from South Africa and United Kingdom. Let me get my charger first. It's about to shut down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so on August 30, our topic will be meeting the challenges of the new normal in school education. So our speakers are all the way from Philippines. So they are my prof they were my professors. All right, so on August 31st, our topic will be about young leaders changing the world. So our speakers will be from South Africa, United Kingdom, and Vietnam.
Okay, so again, for those who haven't haven't uh, gotten their certificate, everyone take note of our code here. Okay, certificate code IGP seven seven eight eight. Or else, if you don't have your code, you will not be able to get your certificate. Okay, so please take note. You can screenshot. All right, so I think that's it, guys. So for our knowledge seekers, I would love to thank you all for uh, from my deep uh, heart for attending today's session. So hopefully, hopefully you learn something new and you will implement it in your life. So please leave a review or a recommendation recommendations to our page. So if you learn something new or if we helped you a little bit, please try to have a positive recommendation or positive review. I know I know that uh, our uh, IGP or institution really helped everyone right so don't forget to collect e certificate and obviously give a check in with igp so please spread the information with your friends so we hope to see you all in our next webinar okay ella jason ali is signing off